Hey, welcome back. Now let's continue working with charts in Looker Studio and let's first remove this Senke chart that we previously created. So I'm gonna remove that one and now I'm gonna show you how to use Funnel in Looker Studio. So let's go to add a chart. Let's find Funnel section at the bottom and basically this is new chart in Looker Studio. Previously we had it only in these custom options but now we have available in these default charts which is great. This is very useful chart in Looker Studio so let's click on this option here and let's place it here on this page. Now we have some default options here. In this dimension box we have channel that is already chosen by Looker Studio. In metric we have sales and also it's sorted by sales. Actually this is a great example because this funnel can provide us information of total sales which is in this case around 27 million. Then we have almost 50% for in-store, reseller, catalog and then phone. So basically we can compare different channels. Maybe even better information would be if we had some column, for example, for number of customers that are coming into our stores, then how many of them are buying some products and so on. But we don't have that information in our data source. So basically we will using this channel. Also, let me show you another use case. Instead of channel, I can provide a region. So based on this, we can compare different regions. So in North America, we have the highest sales. Then we can see Asia and then Europe. Okay, now that we understand how to use funnel, let's see what options we have. If I go down, I will see all default options that we have for all other charts. So let's proceed quickly to style. And now let's see what we have here. Again, we can provide chart title. We can uncheck these show data labels and then we will be able to see only funnel and basically if we hover over some category we will be able to see numbers. Let's click again on this. Then we have three options here. Stepped bar and then triangle. I'm gonna leave this as it was previously. Also we can customize data label. We can choose percentage, number, number plus percentage and so on. Again we can customize font and everything else. Also the colors, background and border and basically that's it for this chart. Now let me mention one more important thing. If you go back to add a chart and scroll down to funnel, we will be able to see funnel chart with stepped bar and then triangle. Basically those are options that we previously have chosen here. So stepped bar, basically that's the same chart that we have here. And also for triangle, if you click on this option here, we will be able to see that chart. Perfect. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.